do things that a lot of dental offices aren't able to do. And so as a result, not only do we love to have families, and we are certainly set up to see families, but we are, we're also focusing on and have the ability to treat people with a lot of advanced dental problems, people that need full mouth reconstructions, people that need dental implants, people that are tired of their dentures flopping around and really want them to be more secure. And so focusing on some of these more special aspects of dentistry has given us the ability to really meet the needs of people who are really, really needing some specialty dental care that often have a hard time finding it. And so it's been our commitment to educate ourselves in such a way that we can provide a service to patients that, that, that otherwise might be difficult to find. That's great. Um, one of the things that, that I've seen you guys do on a continuous basis is create an experience where every client really feels like part of the family. And, uh, and <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever watched the old Cheers thing, but that, that song really says a lot about the way Image Care Dental is set up, is that when you come in, the first thing you do is you get met by a really warm smile, and everybody there is placed uniquely in a, pla in a position where it serves their internal gifting mm -hmm. the most, because I've really recognized that from the front lady mm -hmm. all the way through to uh, the accountant mm -hmm. in the office. Mm -hmm. And people really feel like they're part of uh, a bigger thing. Mm -hmm. And then when you're a patient, you come into that experience. It's really amazing to me at the, the way that the, the care that is given to the patient right from the get-go. And, and as a business owner, I, I just encourage anybody out there to really consider the patient or client experience from the first postcard, the first phone call, the first, re, the first meeting. The energy that shows up makes all the difference. Are you really, the right word is loving your people, loving your patients, doing the right thing for them not doing them in. <laughs> so I just, I just encourage you to really look at that and notice what Dr. Steve Thompson's doing is a really unique way of creating an experience. Now, as, as, we, you know, as we wind down the, the, the show today, I really want to make sure that people know what to do. What do you, what do you really want patients or people in the, in, in the area to do? Right. Well, you know, I, I really... Um... I really want people to, to, that are really needing and looking for a dentist that, or a dental office that, that really embodies some of the, the qualities that we've talked about, to, to give us a call. And there are several ways to enter our practice. Um, number one, we invite our patients that, that, that just want to sit down and talk and, and, and see if, if, if we're right for them to come in for a free consultation. Um, I'd be happy to sit down and talk with you. Um, let me know what your, your fears, your frustrations are. Let me know what your needs are, what your goals are with your teeth in your mouth. And we'll sit down and talk about it. Now, you guys even offer something unique as far as if a client does not feel that, I mean, you actually offer some guarantees, I guess I'm going yeah. for, which is, mm -hmm. I mean, what dentist out there offers a guarantee? Steve does. Exactly. So tell me about the guarantee. Yeah, I mean, basically, you come into our office, and, and you are not happy with your initial experience. If you feel like that, that this office is not right for you, then, then that visit's guaranteed. You don't, you don't pay us. And, and, and that's, that's our commitment to our patients, that we want to make sure that that relationship is right. It's got to be right for you. Um, and if it's not, then we will give you some referrals to other people that could, that could potentially help you. I don't want to be in a situation where we um, are not meeting your expert expectations or needs. And so it's so critical for that, for that to happen that way. And, and, and Pat, the, the other way that people can enter into to our office is basically through the new patient exam and the new patient experience that Pat talked about. Um, a majority of our patients do enter that way through, through the new patient exam. And, and that is a great way just for us to, to meet to talk about what your needs are, identify the problems, and then, and then talk about some solutions. And what I like to do, and I tell all of our patients this, is we like to provide a road map. And, and, and I, I say road map because everybody needs to know where they're at, where the starting point is, and where the ending point is. Everybody does map quests now. You've got to enter in your, your, your starting point, 
and you've got to enter in your destination. And so we create a custom road map for all of our patients so they know exactly where they are on their road back to dental health. And, and when you have a road map, Pat, as you, as you go to your next destination, to your next stopping point, you know exactly where you're at. There's no surprises, no hidden fees, no, oops, you're going to need this and this and this. We forgot to tell you. It's all laid out for you. That way you can plan, you can budget, and, 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 and you know where you're going with your dental health. That's excellent. Um, the, uh, I, I, I keep thinking about the way that people interact with you, and I know that that's a really important thing. You guys reach out into your community a lot of different ways. And I'd just like to know, what are some of the things that you guys are doing to, to touch the community, to let them aware of what you're doing? Well, you know, we, we do a lot of, of, of marketing. Um, we, we send out postcards, um, newsletters. We like to keep our patient base informed with, with things that we're doing, um, new advances in technology. I know that, uh, um, you know, as the owner of the business, a certain portion of the proceeds of, of Image Care Dental are, are funneled to um, specific ministries that really reach out and, and, and touch others around the world. And so we feel like it's important to give back. Um, and, and, and we do that in a lot of different ways. And, you know, for instance, uh, I had a, just a, a dear patient come in yesterday. She's from um, Brazil and is here working in a local ministry and was having a problem with a tooth. And we were just able to bless her by, um, by providing a service that she really needed and that she really couldn't afford. And so, so we love being able to help people like that. It, it, it ministers to us and it ministers to our patients. That is excellent. Yeah. I know that, that they've been holding up their Steve Thompson DDS. F-A-G-D. Yes. What does that stand for? That stands for the, a fellow of the Academy of General Dentistry. And, and Pat, that's a designation that, that I'm very proud of. And what it means is it means that, that, that I have been dedicated to basically exceeding the standards of continuing education, have taken a, a rigorous examination process to ensure that I, I am proficient in multiple areas of dentistry. And the exciting news is, is that... Um, after the end of this year, I will be um, qualified to, to go to the next level, which is a mastership in the Academy of General Dentistry. So, so I'll be a master dentist soon and looking forward to that. Basically, all that means um, is, is that, that we have done our part to be able to deliver for you the very best dentistry that's available. That's great. Well, as we're wrapping the show up, I really just want to say thank you so very much, Dr. Steve. And I encourage you to visit imagecaredental.com to visit with uh, Dr. Steve and his staff, which his staff is excellent. Every week I'm going to bring you leaders like Dr. Steve who have made a difference in their li in the lives of their family, their friends, their neighborhood, their community. And every time I want you to try to draw out the good stuff of how these folks are really making a difference because you really are learning from leaders. Thank you so very much.